Hey man, respiratory therapy been good to me, man. Like, I had an ex extremely busy night, but like, I'm going to my Benzito. We got that there. I'm going to the house, two stories with a pool in the back. Like, it's like you, you know, you gotta like, and you gotta take, you gotta take what come with it, man. Gotta take that good with the bad. Now I'm changing my shoes. I'm changing out my shoes. Y'all know how they go changing them. Big Money Bound TV RRT Posse YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I release scheduled videos every Monday, 12 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. But I also release unscheduled videos throughout the week. Now, if you're returning, hey, welcome back. You already know I appreciate all of the support, man. But, hey, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the whole big money bound what we represent thing. Man, like, that hard work, it, it is what it is till you get done. You feel me? Like, I didn't even want to come to work today, man. I was like, bro. I don't know. I just didn't want to come. And I was hoping I got counsel. Like, please, please, man. But hey, now I'm glad I did it. Cause it's over. Then when that pay, then when that paycheck come through, that money gonna be rolling in. So I'm gonna be glad I did come. But um I had a cool night last night, man. Didn't really I can't I'm saying it's cool not cause it's done. But y'all know how I be saying like they don't be sharing them ventilators, you feel me? At my for them job, they try to take all them vents, get that count for them vents, and just, just only do vents. I'd be like, man, I want some vents too. I want to keep doing floor therapy, just running around doing all these treatments. Now, last night, they gave me what I asked for. They gave me vents. But they gave me too many damn vents, cuz. Them folks gave me like. But I think I had 10 vents, though. I think I was doing 10 vents and one BiPAP. That's 11 machines. Like, come on now. Hey, hey. Let's do moderation, huh? Like, come on. Look. Let's do moderation, dog. We're going to do something. Let's do moderation, man. Because go from zero vents to having 11. Y'all, wow. Remember, hey. Got to be careful what you ask for, man. For real, dog. I remember, I was like, <laughs> I want to be a respiratory therapist. I want to be a therapist. I want to be a therapist so bad. I want to be a therapist. And I want to be a therapist so bad. I can't wait to get hired as a therapist. I want to be a therapist so bad. I became a respiratory therapist. I seen my homeboy in the hallway. He's like, hey, man, how the job going? Hey, dog, be careful what you ask for, man. All right, be careful what you ask for. Them days be so busy sometimes. Hey, be careful what you ask for, man. For real, man. I'm in that light. I, I get a horrible assignment. I'm like, you know what, man? I can't be mad at nobody but myself, dog. I went to school for this here, man. I paid my money. Ain't nobody make me do this. I did, I did this myself. This is what I wanted. You feel me? I can't be mad at nobody else but myself. <laughs> But that's how it be some nights. But um, I had like 11 vents. And with that, I was in the ICU. And we're working in the ICU, man. It's like, you got to deal. Like, you got to, you got to like, take care of the family as well. The family going to be asking you, like, a lot of questions, like a million questions. Like, you know, some things that you don't even know the answer to. Some things, like, you can't even answer. Like, it's a question that can't be answered. Like, I go in the patient room, the family member, like, why is her why is, why why is her tongue sticking out? Hey, hold on, you backing up kind of wild, baby. It's a hey, like why is her tongue sticking out? Hey, bro, I don't know. What you? But I gotta I gotta give you an answer. Like, you know, it could be positional. Could be from where she got her head. Could be from how the tube is in there. Could be it's just that's how she feels comfortable. Like, bro, I don't. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, that's something I don't know, man. Then it's like, you be like, you go into the patient room. I come here like once or twice a week, you feel me? So, this is like my first time back since last week. I go into the patient room, patient being ventilated, everything, trait, yada, yada. Well, patients on a, on, see, I don't want to say yada, yada, because y'all don't know what I'm talking about. So, patients on a trait. And being ventilated and it's sedated and family is there with them. 
family asks me, is the patient doing better? This is my first time seeing them. What y'all, hey, I, 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 you feel me? Like, that's something I can't answer because this is my first time seeing them. So I'm like, well, this is my first time seeing a patient. I haven't seen them before to say if they've gotten better, if they've gotten worse. But what I can say is from what I'm seeing right now and what the vent is saying and the breath sounds, the patient seems to be doing okay. Like, you don't want to get nobody. Yeah, they're doing better. They're doing good. They're doing great. Whoa, hold on now. You, to understand somebody doing like good or great, to answer that question, you got to you gotta get labs. You got to get x-rays to really understand that. Now, you can go by what has been done, but are they doing better? You got to redo all of that stuff right there. So how I'm answering that question? Hey, from what I can see, what I can see now, everything all right. Now, if I see something that ain't okay, I'm like, hey, from what I can see, some improvements can be made. But I'm here with you throughout the whole night shift and make sure that you stay, the patient stays well ventilated and oxygenated. And he's, the patient is getting good respiratory care. We're going to try to improve the patient's situation. That's what I can say. You feel me? Like, you can never get no, I never get no deficit. Oh, yeah, he's doing great. He's doing this. Because as soon as you leave, well, that guy just said he was doing great. Now, what are you talking about? He said, what? Hey, bro, not, no, not me, man. I said from what I can see. Well, the blood the blood results came back. Yeah, I can't see no blood results. I can't see that. I can't see no blood. I, I ain't going to take no blood. I, I ain't see that. That's something new. But from what I can see, we doing all right. And somehow, man, I was in the patient room. I had my cart inside the room. To get into these rooms, man, you got to, like, go over, like, it's like a hump. You got to, like, pull your cart, literally, over a metal hump. You know, like, you just got the sliding glass doors. So you got to, like, get over that hump, man. And this handle the baby hump. This like a big boy hump. This a big boy. Pause. Pause, now. It's a big one. Hey, pause, man. It's a, it's a hump there. Just know it's a hump. So I get over the hump. And then I got to go check out another patient in another room because the vent is alarming. So I go over there. I come back in the room to get my card out. You know, the family is in there praying. You feel me? Like, you know, everybody got their head bowed, praying, listen, you know, praying. Thank you, y'all, 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 get, get well soon. Thank you, Lord, your God, real, God, real. I can't just pull my card up out of here because my card going to go to making all kind of noises, dog. So I can't just pull him up out of there. So I'm there just kind of like, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like squeak it over. Just nice and easy. Just nah. Hey, I'm going to stop messing around, bro. No, I'm, I'm trying to be funny now. No, I'm just trying to be funny. I'm going to chill, bro. But I couldn't pull my cart over the hump until they got done praying, man. Luckily, I caught them in the middle. I only had to wait like two or three minutes, bro. But I had to get my cart, but that's praying. And I ain't want to be rude and just pull the cart and make all kind of noise, banging and banging and booming and banging while you go here trying to pray, you feel me? So had to do a few um lavage and suctions. That's when you take a patient. I don't know... I never did this nowhere else. This is only at the hospital on Perdue, man. Take a patient off a vent, bag them, manually ventilate them. When I mean, that's just what the vent the ventilator was doing. All right, manually bag them manually, then lavage them, put saline down the tube, then bag them again, then suction. All right, man. Y'all world, man. Y'all world. And with working, like, two different jobs, like, it's good because, like, you can, like, get, like, acclimated to, like, the way different hospitals run. Like, at my full-time job, if a bench setting needs to be changed, the therapist comes to make that change. Like, the nurse will never change that vent no matter what it is. Now, over here, the nurses, they, the doctor put an order to change it. They changed it. Let you know, yeah, I saw, the, I, saw, I saw a vent change order, so I went ahead and I did it. I'm like, it's cool when you're busy. Like, I was busy. I got, like, 11 vents. I ain't got time to be going from over here, way over there, just to turn a knob. So, it was convenient. That was, like, very helpful. But sometimes, 
you prefer to keep like a close eye on like what's going on with these ventilator settings and what's being changed and all that. So sometimes you want to you want to just don't touch the vent. I got it, man. But when you come to somewhere like that's all they do. That's all they do over here is like the nurses touch the vents and control the vents. Not control them, but like change the settings for you. You can come here saying, oh, don't touch my vent. Bro, like you at a whole different hospital. You got to like adapt to what they do over here. Just like the same thing with um. Where like where the where the equipment is kept? At one job, the equipment is kept like let's say you got um a ballard. That's like the um that's the um that's the circuit for the ET tube. And whenever you intubate a patient, you gotta have one of those. At one of my jobs, what you gotta have is on the vent that you already have. So on every vent, it's a ballard that you need. That makes sense. Then at one job, it's just a vent. You got to run and go find that ballot. At one job, the vents, you got vents in the ER, which is convenient. If I got a patient to come in, cardiac arrest, that means no pulse, patient heart isn't beating, they doing CPR, patient got to be put on a ventilator. You got the vent right in the ER. You go get the vent, you come back to the ER room. Boom, that's no problem. Then at one job, Y'all ain't got that done. You got to go and get it. Because they rely more on, all right, they're going to call us when they're in route. We're going to call you. You bring the vent. By the time you get here, everybody going to meet up. We're going to be good. But, hey, all the time, it don't always work like that. You feel me? Sometimes, patient just run in there. Hey, my homie, just stop being there. You got to be ready, man. So, do I like it when it's like that? When there's no vent in there? No, but you got to know how to adapt to it. All I can do is just, I bring a vent, I hide a vent somewhere around the corner, you feel me? I, I, I go put a vent in the patient's, in the patient's bathroom. And I'm, hey, hey, as long as I got a vent in here somewhere, bro, I ain't worried about nothing, man. But y'all know once I leave my per diem job, I got to go and get my big breakfast, my lunch special, this, everything, the trimmings, the pancakes, tomato slices, and eggs. And that's what I'm about to go and do right now, man. Thank y'all for supporting. If you want to support even further, log on to patreon.com slash bigmoneyboundtv. Go over there and show us a little support. I appreciate that. But until next time, foes up, further ambitious, like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. RRT Posse, I got us.